everybody. This uh, may be the last video from the beautiful uh, Sala San Michele of my friend Nicole Allen, because we just learned that the state of Illinois is about to shut us down and put the state under lockdown. So next time you see this, it may be on the far less uh, beautiful terrain of the cement slab in my backyard. But anyway, the next exercise we're going to look at is like the Lovata from a kind of a tallow Iberian tradition, really tradition, really an Iberian tradition this time. And it is for a much bigger weapon. I'm going to do it with a longsword for sake of space. It totally works with the longsword. It is called driving the foe. And it's kind of the exact opposite of the Lovata. The Lovata works very tightly from side to side, and it's sort of a rope-a-dope. You basically are always one step ahead of the opponent. You simply can't get control of the fight as you slowly condense his world until the over parries on one side and you get him. Driving the foe is very opposite. It is literally what it sounds. It's about big, expansive actions. The idea here is that I am clearing space and I am driving the opponent back. Now again, with the long sword, it's a little bit less dramatic and you don't have the inertia of the sword to naturally pull your body. But it helps offset what the Levada does, which is that if you just practice that obsessively, people get very tight. So I want you to think about the feeling of sweeping actions, driving the foe, all right? So you're beginning again in two to four to the pharaoh. You're stepping in and you're clearing with your edge. You're then looping and throwing a full mandrito fendente. As soon as that happens, you're firing a thrust. When they put that thrust aside, you throw a full cut. And you're back in two to port to the pharaoh. That's one sequence. Do it right, you do two sequences. Now, the second sequence, we deal with the fact that sometimes it's unclear in the Iberian material which edge is being used. So here now, when we do this again, it's exactly the same, but this time I open with a parry with the falso. Think about that first ribbon cut drill we did. And as soon as I put it aside, I throw that full mandrito fendente. Then I execute the thrust, and again I throw that full fendente. This time a reverso. So, whole thing. I'm going to do it in profile, but I'm going to move back and forth to fit in the frame. So. Again, I'm moving back off of those cuts just to maintain space. That's something I want to make a point of. You're trapped at home. The drill is about barreling through somebody, driving them away. You're in your apartment. Maybe you're doing this with a yardstick. So change your footwork. Go in and every time you have to step with the left, pass back. It doesn't matter. What's important is that you learn to link blows, learn to move well, you learn good mechanics, and really, that you're training. That's what matters most. So last time. See you guys soon.